you're in the semi-final now. Let's go and try and win it. And it is a competition. You know, I saw Roma last year. They won it. They celebrated as if it was their third consecutive European Cup final. <laughs> you know, so go for it. Yeah, absolutely. And yeah. the fans will love it. And it is a European competition. So, yes, if you go and win that competition and you stay in the division, which West Ham are going to do, it's, it's turning out not a bad season at all. I mean, you're, you're dismissive of it, aren't you? With all due respect, Martin. I mean, West Ham fans will be like, no, we, we take this seriously. I, we want to win it. It is my view. It is my view. My view was that it was... Um, is it slight snobbery? It was, no, you first... you, you when, when you set out in football, you obviously try and win some competitions. If you fall short of competitions and it gets you into European football, that's terrific. But just don't drop down the ladder to get into them, you know, and don't... You if I've just invented another competition, and this is my view. I, I said rather sarcastically the last time, if you avoid relegation, you could be in Europe next year. You know, so <laughs> it isn't. But now that it's here, go on and win it. It yeah. is absolutely. Well, you'd be and lapping is, it up if you were taking a club into the, the final of the Europa Conference League. Well, if League. you are, you absolutely. If go, you are, but you're, go, you're not saying no, you definitely sorry, would be. No, go and win the competition. Go and do that there, and it is a European competition, and it's uh, it's been approved Careful, by you. Martin. Martin because that's exactly what I said and I've got a whole raft of West Ham fans saying what an outrageously unfair opinion and how dare I have that view because you and I have the exact same view. Yeah. view. It's a third tiered competition. It is. And, but if you're in it, you go and win it. Absolutely. But you can't ask independent and neutral observers to turn around and say, oh, well, what, a, what a wonderful tournament that mm. is. It's another manufactured tournament. What's great about it if West Ham win it is it gives them a gateway into the Europa League mm -hmm. and we can see that. But if you're asking neutral observers to turn around and say, oh, yeah, yeah, you've got a European Cup winner over there. Yeah, but it changes the fortunes of David Moyes, which you believe to be the case. And that, well, if they I, win I, it. I believe it makes a, a more compelling argument for David to get out from underneath the argument that he's not been a particularly successful season in the league. Now, of course, David's experience and the group of players have gotten into a better position in the league, but we cannot argue with the fact that West Ham fans isolated their league performances and said... And we've had it on here many times, even Martin Keown's railed against West Ham fans saying stop being so negative, that West Ham fans have said that the European campaigns have plastered over the cracks of the domestic situation. So you can't have one argument for one set of conversations and another argument for the other just because you want to advance a point that makes you look stronger in it. West Ham, w finishing in the league the way they do and winning this European competition will plaster over some of the underachievements in the yeah, league. Yeah, right, right. Which I wasn't is, there which is what they wanted to they want to be okay. they want to be strong in their own domestic league, don't they? I wasn't there mm. last night, Martin. I was there on Sunday night to watch West Ham beat Manchester United by a single goal to nil. I mean, you spoke about Declan Rice the last time after failing to coerce Declan mm. to to continue to play for the Republic of Ireland. Did you ever envisage him potentially becoming a 120 million pound player? Uh, I think it was Jordan that used that word coerce. <laughs> yeah, so uh, oh, um, or yeah, really it was Jordan. Coerce. Yes, it was. I think it was him. You know, I right. swayed, I persuade. Is the word. talk him into? Right. Talk him into. Um, shall I reiterate? Declan Rice wanted to play for England. It's so really as simple as that. He wanted to play for England, and it hasn't been. Was a that bad after he played for you? It hasn't been a bad <laughs> shout. Um, yeah, you should have said because he was played for England. No, <laughs> but that is not true. I played. He played three international games for us. Obviously, all friendly matches. And he was a yeah. young kid. He wasn't even right. properly in the West Ham team at the time. Yeah. And but any uh, coercion didn't work. That's no, it doesn't. It, it doesn't matter. He's gone to play for England. Yeah. And look, 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 look what has happened to him since that. Yeah. He's, he's gone on to, uh, from strength to strength. Did I ever think that um, uh, supposedly a defensive midfield player would be worth 120 million pounds? No, not really. You know, uh, uh, I suppose I would probably be thinking that. If you want to spend £100 million on someone, I'm talking about maybe in the last 18 months, then perhaps maybe a 25 goal uh, a season centre forward is something that would be in your remit. But However, that said, if that's the going price and, that, and teams are prepared to pay that for a very, very, very good midfield player as he is, yeah. you know, um, well, get on with it then. Jim White and Simon Jordan. Monday to Friday mornings from 10 on AM, on DAB, via the TalkSport app and on your smart speaker. TalkSport.